comes with planting instructions. I'll make it. It doesn't want to leave me. It's like you don't know everything. Trust me. Like you, you're going to want this here. Sometimes I make poor choices and sometimes I make poor choices knowing they're poor choices and then I find out I actually may have made a good choice and that it pertains to this in this case I got suckered into this on Amazon Amazon knows what I love and Amazon knows I love plants and so it continually recommends to me plant stuff and it recommended this seed starting kit to me I thought to myself when I purchased this if this worked and I showed my subscribers it worked they would be so stoked because it's really inexpensive it is an entire setup that includes the trays the top and the lights yes folks the lights for 80 seeds this is the one kit there are several different types of this kit you can get and so i posted on instagram and i said did i make a mistake am i crazy i bought this thing it looks like it's out of a sci-fi movie will it work to my surprise to my surprise folks and if you want to follow me on instagram do that i'll put the tag here down right there somewhere but this <laughs> i got this and the comment section on instagram was crazy not bad not bad for 30 bucks not bad at all, folks. So we're gonna unpack this, set it up, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna review for you what this bad boy looks like. And if I'll do a seedling tour uh, towards the end of February, March, and I'll show you how these guys end up performing. But from the sounds of things, it's gonna perform pretty darn good because a lot of you said you'd done it and you'd used it, and it was fantastic. So. I need to do everything in my power to make sure I don't flash the internet my uh, address because it is like plastered on this box in three different places. That's not good. Okay, so let's open this up. Now, the nice thing about this is it is all like a harder plastic, like a tougher plastic that seems more durable. So it's not, it's not hard plastic in the sense that it's like the sun blaster trays I've shown you guys in the past. This is a mix between the sun blaster tray type give and like your classic, you pick it up and it, it snaps. That makes sense, right? And then, in, so this is the bottom tray, no holes. This is your tray tray, tray tray. Why did I think that was funny? Um, anyways, this is the insert tray and it's clear, so. This clear tray, I like. And if you've watched my videos in the past on houseplants, I don't do a lot of houseplants video anymore. They don't really perform very well. That's why I don't really do them. But I obviously still grow houseplants. Regardless, if you've watched my houseplant videos, I have spoken at length um, about how I enjoy a clear cover pot that, sorry, a clear nursery pot that goes inside of a dark cover pot and the reason for that is because i can actually see active root growth and or active root disease or pests helps a ton in diagnosing any issues so this will help me diagnose napping off over watering um, any fungal or bacterial problems that may be seen in the ceilings i do like a clear nursery pot whenever possible very rare for seed starting so that gets a stack of approval. I can already tell though, this is not gonna be great for pinching out the plant. It has a hole in the bottom. And does it have a tool to poke set? No, it doesn't really. I guess this would work to kind of get it edged out or you could cut around the side. I will tell you, this is gonna be hard to get the plants out. You're not gonna be able to squeeze uh, to bump up very easily but it is what it is. The other thing I will note is that this will work on a heat mat. The heat mat just may need to be turned up a bit because this tray actually is elevated from the bottom of the container. So if you have a soil temp thermometer, which I've spoken about in the past, that would help to determine what your soil temp is and whether or not you need to turn your heat mat up if you have a heat mat that can be controlled through a, con a controller. I have a garden guide. Actually, I'll tell you guys guys about the garden guide. The garden guide is up. I will link it down below. All you do is you sign up your email and then you'll get the garden guide. Don't worry, I don't spam you with email. It's literally just to get the garden guide, that's it. I maybe send out an email once every three years. 
and I say once every three years because I've sold, sent one email about three years ago, if that makes sense, but I won't spam you. You can get the garden guide. In that garden guide, I have a variety of tools that I use to garden with. One of which is a heat mat that has the controller temp on it. And it also lists on the mat the temperatures needed for each seed. I also have the soil thermometer on that garden guide. See, it's literally everything I use. <laughs> everything I use, nothing I don't use. So convenient. And I don't use much to garden. I garden with pretty much the basics here. So anyways, this will be, I don't know, it could, you might need to turn it up. And I'll keep you guys informed when I do the garden tour or the seed starting tour uh, to let you know if that was the case, but it is elevated. These are thick containers. I expect that to be the case with these. Okay, next up. This, are these are labels, beautiful labels. These are plastic labels. Honestly, see, those are nice. They're nice, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, they're, they're beautiful labels. I will say though, you know what's best label per mistake? Canadian family owned company. They make metal, aluminum, reusable stakes. Check them out. Just saying, just saying. They're the original aluminum stake creator. Beautiful, beautiful product. All different shapes and sizes too. It comes with planting instructions. I'll make it. It doesn't want to leave me. It's like you don't know everything. Trust me. Like you, you're gonna want this here. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'll do a seed starting video, like a a, a guide, a seed starting guide is what I'll do for you guys. Um, and then I'll go through everything. Everything you could possibly need or want will be in there. These are, wow. Wow. This is very reusable. This is like not a one time, this, this was only $30. How, why, why are you so inexpensive? This is like a hard plastic. This is beautiful. Okay, this is your cloche. Now, this is temporary. The cloche is only used until the point in, why am I talking like that? The cloche is only used until you get seeds to germinate. That is it, that is all folks. Please do not leave it on because if you leave it on, you're gonna end up with mold. And then you're gonna message me and you're like, I have so much mold on my plants. And I'm gonna be like, did you take this off? Did you take this off? Do you have a fan over top of your seedlings? No? Okay. So this is the light. That is the plug-in on the top of the light. I will insert photos of what the setup looks like. You pop this in. You literally pop it in. Like it pop pops in. Okay. I see where you, I see where you at. Okay. And then it has a vent. It has a vent. And you can put the holes on the holes. I've got lesbian, a lesbian friend. I've got two lesbian friends. They probably appreciate that joke. Anyways, this is uh, the light slash also the aeration and the plug-in. I'll show you what this looks like after I get it set up. This is editing Ashley, who's turned up a few times on this video. Just a heads up, I've had this running for all day, like all day, all night. I don't know, like 24 hours or more. It doesn't get hot. There's no heat. It's like, there's no heat. So this would not heat anything for germination. It's like really gonna warm your soil, nothing. It's mildly warm to the touch, but yeah, it's just, there's no heat off this. So just a heads up there. I very well might be able to pop an Earth One sensor in here. I'm gonna maybe do that. Um, if you didn't know what the Earth One sensor is, is a sensor that I helped develop using plant science and soil science. It's wonderful. But I'm gonna try to pop this in here. It'll give me a good idea on particularly the temperature, the humidity, and the light is what I'm most interested in um, over like soil moisture. Soil moisture is obviously gonna be whatever because it's inside of this cloche without holes. So I'm gonna try to pop that in. But what would these be good for? Looking at this, looking at the depth, I would encourage these to be used with tomatoes, peppers, um, herbs to an extent, particularly herbs that don't need um, heat to get germinated or ready to go. I wouldn't use this for um, vining plants. So if you're starting pumpkins or loofahs or cantaloupe or watermelon, anything that vines, 
probably wouldn't start it in here, wouldn't start anything that is root sensitive. So zinnias, borage, um, taproot type plants, probably wouldn't put in here because I don't see them coming out very easily or nicely. And that level of stress actually, I think would do quite a bit of damage to the plant. So I would avoid them, but how cool is this? I love this. This is awesome. Go get this. Go get this. Seriously. I'm not joking. My Instagram comments, go check out my Instagram post on this. The Instagram comments were like, I bought it. It's awesome. Subscribers, the Geek crew, they said this is good. They don't lie ever. They will tell me off and tell me when I'm wrong. And this time they told me I'm right with my impulse purchase. I am excited for it. $30. This, anyone can grow. Anyone can grow. This literally has everything except for the seeds in the soil. You can't, you can't get much better than that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Comment down below what your first seed starting setup looked like. To be honest, mine was ratchet. This, I wish I would have had this. This is cool. This is so neat. I love this. So inexpensive and a great place to start. So I'll talk to you guys next time.